How could he let a cute girl like me get into this situation? I'll never forgive him! <sighs> Papa! Help me! I'm lost and alone in a scary world! Huh? But that's the same little girl, right? I, I didn't know she had a softer side to her. Apparently she does. Let's try not to stare. Don't make direct eye contact. PP! Understood. Well, why don't you handle this one, T? <sighs> mm -hmm. Hey, S. Captain's here to rescue you. Huh? Well, you're late. Where the heck were you? I know, I know. Wanna play with some squishy puyos? It might calm you down. <gasps> you made daddy! That's the spirit. You ready? You're the worst captain in the universe! Well, that looks like it helped. Helped what, exactly? It didn't help the fact that you're a useless captain, did it? It didn't uncrash the Tetra or unstrand me on an alien homeworld, did it? You should be glad I'm even speaking to you. Excellent. She's back to her old self again. Mission accomplished. Wow. The power of friendship. Yep, we're practically family. Pee pee, pee pee! So, S, how'd you end up here? I'm not sure. There was this girl with a crooked stick in each hand. I kind of followed her. She was just shouting, hi up! And when we got here, she was gone. Huh? You know what? All these descriptions keep sounding vaguely familiar. Who cares? My turn to ask questions. What is it? You found the crew, right? Is Papa safe? Is he? Please tell me Papa's safe. Um. Papa? We didn't meet S's dad, did we? He has a big round body and an even bigger heart. Huh? You mean Zed? My Papa. You, you know he's a robot, right? Of course she knows he's a robot. Do you have a problem with Papa? No, it sounds completely biologically routine. You ask strange questions. Hey, let's all head back now. Your Papa's waiting us. You're going to go along with this narrative? Not that there's anything wrong with it, of course. There! 
There! There! introductions earlier. It was all very cordial, I assure you. Great. So everyone's acquainted now. And the Tetra looks like it's in much better shape. Hi, how is she? Me, with me! Certainly. This Risukuma fellow has proven quite helpful, actually. We combined our shared know-how while you were gone. And I think you'll find much of the Tetra's functionality has been restored. <laughs> Huh? Reese? What's wrong? Ah, oh, don't worry. He's just excited. He gets this way when he's doing science. Let's leave him be. Oh, okay. Well, that all seems perfectly normal. More importantly, are we ready to depart, I? Not quite, Captain. There's a few complications. In particular, we won't be able to travel any great distance. We need some special parts to properly fix the Tetra. I cannot allow that. Huh? The... Hey, why are you yelling? Do you know who that is? There's no way I'd mistake that voice. There's only one possibility. Rapina! Silence. The boundary shall fall. The two worlds will merge. And if you stand in my way, I shall kick you. Really super hard. Who in the heck? I hate arrogant, spoiled, stuck-up, self-entitled girls. Ugh! Do you see what we have to deal with now, S? Pee 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 pee! No, 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 no! Guys, this is Rafina. She's my friend. Hey, that's the sleaze bin who tricked us. She's not just a bin. She's a sleaze wagon. W what are you two talking about? Wait, Rafina. Why are your eyes so scary? And... Merging two worlds? That's not how you usually talk. I shall have to demonstrate then. Let us battle. Puyo Puyo and Tetris. Together! But that's not even a thing!
Final battle was crazy. Rafino was crazy. Well, what's going on here? Ringo! Are you okay? Huh? Oh, Maguro! We should get out of here. We need to figure out what's happening. I won't allow that. Who asked you? Hey, wait, it's you! That's correct. I... The super duper hairy, scary, evil, weevil, weirdy, wacky, gothy girl! Hey! She's the one that made me get lost! The girl with the crooked sticks! Eh, uh, crooked what now? You gotta workshop those adjectives, huh? <laughs> the two worlds shall become one. That is fate. Ringo, is this how she normally is? Um, well, uh, I mean, it's not too far off. She's usually rather dark, but not quite so aggressive. She is weird, though. That part's definitely normal. Hey, yeah! Not cool! No attacking during a side conversation! Leo Puyo has planned.
Puyo Puyo. shall return. Just you wait and see. Hold on! Rabina! Rilu! They're gone. Hey guys, J, L, S. Were those the people who tricked you? Yes, that's correct. That's correct, yes! I swear I'm not lying. I'm not lying, I swear. My sensors believe they are telling the truth. I see. I'm positive too. That was the girl with the sticks. N no! There's no way that's true! Rafina would never cause mischief! Amity... She wouldn't! She wouldn't! She isn't capable of mischief! I mean, unless there's some shiny jewelry at stake or something! Um, hey. Yeah, that's not really helping your case, Amity. Then, what's happening? Something is definitely off. Five minutes with Rulu, and she didn't mention the Dark Prince once. That's your method of gauging crazy? Hmm. I apologize for butting in like this. But perhaps this isn't a problem we can solve right now. Why not address the solvable problems first? Thanks, I. You have a point. You were saying that there's a way to repair the Tetra. Indeed, there is. I'll let Mr. Risukuma elaborate. <laughs> Use your words, Reese. Use your words. Ah, uh, yes, that's much better. Pardon me. <clears throat> now I've run some calculations. Your starship's flight capabilities are severely limited. But we can rebuild her. We have the technology. We just need special parts from up in the sky. So we just get the right parts, and the Tetra's all good? According to my calculations, yes. Well, let's do it. I've written down the details. Please disregard the doodle. One more thing. We can't hold much fuel or water. I propose we don't all attempt to board the Tetra together. Let's make several trips. Two or three of us in varying combinations. Or we'll run out of fuel and be trapped in space forever and ever. Um, yeah, let's avoid that. We have no choice. Our path is clear. Excellent. Let's you and I go first. Prepare to depart at once. 